are you, the Department of Homeland Security, considering a new initiative that would separate children from their parents if they try to enter the United States illegally? Yes, I am considering uh, exactly that. According to a lawsuit just filed by the ACLU, a 39-year-old Congolese woman seeking asylum in the United States was detained along with her 7-year-old daughter. At first, they were detained together in San Diego. But then, according to the ACLU, for no clear reason, government officials took the child away from her mom and moved her to a facility in Chicago. She could hear her daughter in the next room screaming, Mommy, don't let them take me. When we separate, we separate because the law tells us to, and that is in the interest of the child. When I talk to these mothers and I say to them, would you have come here if you had known your child was going to be taken away? They just throw up their arms and say, what choice did I have? If I stayed in my country, I might have been killed. My son might have been killed. So it's essentially gratuitous cruelty. This practice ends today and is right now. What country is that? This is the United States of America. Tonight, these heartbreaking images from the southern border are sparking growing outrage. <laughs> this is unprecedented. This is the worst thing I've seen in 25 plus years of doing the civil rights work. You don't want to talk about child separation policy? Try doing it on a comedy show. Is America going to stand by and watch this silently? Are we going to rise up with anger and frustration and call for demands to change policy? No one is there you have it. The president has officially signed this executive order keeping families together. And a federal judge has ordered U.S. border officials to reunite separated families within 30 days. While the few have had emotional reunions in public, this morning thousands of children remain in limbo. We remain deeply concerned about the hundreds of children, I mean nearing a thousand, that have yet to be reunited with their parents. We don't know how and when these kids will be reunified. I think they knew what they were doing when they took the children away. That was intentional. They deliberately inflicted harm on these children. Now trying to put them back together, I think they just don't know what they're doing because they simply didn't track these families. If you ask, will we fight? Yes, we will fight. The Inspector General for Health and Human Services said today, it's likely that thousands more have actually been separated than previously reported. These are remarkable developments one year into the litigation. They were actually separating children almost a year before the policy was announced. Officials say the suspect was protesting the separation of undocumented immigrant families. When they go low, we go high. And I went as high as I could. Newly empowered House Democrats are holding the very first hearing on this child separation policy. Does anyone know how many children are still separated from their parents? Nobody knows. I do not feel we've gotten the whole truth from the administration, and I think there's bombshells still to come.